Okay, here's the deal. It's Friday, I just got home from work. Storming like crazy out there. Rain, 30 mile an hour winds. Snow levels down around 1,500, 2,000 feet. There's no way we're getting anywhere near those, those hills this weekend. Problem is, I know Jeff's been out prospecting this week and I'm pretty sure he's going to come by this evening and let me know he's ahead. Well, thanks to one of my subscribers, Alan Knight, I've got a plan. And what Alan suggested was that I take the metal detector down there. I got thinking, that's a really good idea. With the metal detector, I can cherry pick the spots because we know when we find the lead, we find the gold. So, the plan is to hit that in the morning. The rain's supposed to taper off around midnight, and then the next storm's not supposed to hit till noon or a little after tomorrow. So, I got a little window in between these storms. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the detector on the charger, put the camera on the charger, so we'll be all ready to go in the morning. And while I'm doing that, Let's run the intro. the river we got up early this morning gathered up all our stuff and this morning when the sun was coming up the sky was clear and it's I don't know an hour later and there's clouds all over the place and uh, the wind's starting to pick up so I don't know how long we got but uh, we got uh, we're in between two two big storms and uh, this is the only place I got to go to find gold we got snow right up in the foothills I can't even get into the lower stuff now so we got I know Jeff's ahead of me so we're gonna try the metal detector and uh, see if that theory pans out now I'm kind of kicking myself on this one because I've ran metal detectors for well since 1968 and I've been gold hunting with them for a long time and to run a metal detector just down here on a gravel, you know, there's just nothing but gravel here, never really even crossed my mind. And I got to thinking, boy, you know, I'm really uh, limiting myself by not exploring stuff. You know, it doesn't hurt to try something. If it fails, it fails. If it works, hey, you just opened up a, a new area to, to uh, find gold in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm in the area right now where we did the best uh, out of all the spots we tried uh, last time we were down here. And so I'm just going to detect this area. I'm going to mark the spots and then we're going to come back and we're just going to dig up the targets and pan them and uh, see if we can uh, cherry pick spots and see if we can pick up a little more gold. Okay, well, we got limited time, so let's get to looking. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, this target here is an iron target, and I think for right now we're gonna we're gonna skip them. <laughs> You hear the sound on sound on that target as opposed to this target. Higher frequency, that is definitely lead right there. And that one's definitely iron. So right now we're just going to concentrate on the lead one. Okay, well, I don't know how well the camera's showing it, but every one of these sticks I've got all over the place here is a target. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through and just dig these up, take them down and pan them, and uh, nothing else, we're gonna get some lead. You know, it's kind of hard to, to believe, but just, uh, oh, I don't know, a couple, three weeks ago, it was 70 degrees. And right now, it's, it's about 38. And uh, we got a snow level of 1,500 to 2,000 feet. Now this is interesting, right here I see a layer of black sand. Quite a layer of black sand. Okay, that's good. So we'll just dig that layer up and see what's in there. Okay, let's go try our first pan. Okay, even though I know there's no nuggets here, you check the classifier just because who knows what you'll find. Okay, well, we got black sand showing up. I should have bought a bu little bucket where I could just throw this in it rather than have to stop and mess with the snuffer bottle. Okay, I got some super, super fine stuff. I'm going to put the camera on this just to see if you can see it. You can see those, there's, I don't know, four or five pieces, super tiny. Okay, I'm going to snuff this up, then we're going to go try the next one. Okay, I think we might have this one pretty much cleaned out. Well, we definitely got a target in the, uh, in the pan. And I'm not hearing anything else in the hole. So let's go see what we got. Well, we got that one panned out. And we got us a little tiny swivel. And it looks like a steel buckshot. And the same little teeny tiny pieces of uh, super fine gold. So this spot, we're not finding any, any big lead to speak of. So I'm gonna move over to the other spot and pretty much abandon this one because everything we're getting out of here is too too light. So let's try the next spot, see what we got in there. Okay, well, we'll see what this place has got to offer. Well, I think I just found one of our targets, fish hook. We'll set that right there and we better double check. Oh, we still got a target in there. Okay, well, we got the one. Now, let's see if we can get this other one. All right, I think we got it now. Okay. Okay, we got a pretty full pan this time. Let's go see what's in it.
Well, it looks like we got rain right over there. And that wind's picking up a little more. Now you want to make sure if you got any clumps of clay or anything like that, you make sure you break those up. And see, I got a lot of roots in here, and I want to make sure I get those roots clean. You get little clumps of root, and they'll act just like miner's moss. They'll hold that gold. Nice little quartz rock. A lot of clay in this one. You can tell when you're panning, you can tell clay because you'll get like a mottled color in your pan. And that's that uh, clay and suspension. It's got a very distinct look to it. Well, we got us another uh, another swivel. I'm not really sure what that is. Definitely metal. Okay, we got a hunk of lead in here. Our first decent sized piece of lead. Hopefully we got some gold in with it. And another swivel. Okay, we got some gold. Let me show you this. Okay, you can see we got quite a bit of junk in here. There's our nail, swivel. Here's that piece of metal. I have no idea. It looks like it's melted. Now we're into the lead, all kinds of pieces of lead. Okay, now let me get this cleaned around here where I can show you the gold. Okay, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but there's gold all through here. Let's see if I can get in a little closer. You can see all, all kinds of little pieces of gold in there. What we're figuring out is what we pretty much already knew was you find the lead, you're going to find the gold. So we've got to just concentrate on targets that sound like lead. Okay, let's do a few more. We got a thunder, a big old thundercloud right overhead here. So I may be making a run for it, but we're gonna pan right up till the raindrops start hitting me. Well, this one's a deep one. Okay, well, we got it in the pan. Yeah, I just finished uh, another pan here. And we got uh, a few more fishing items. Uh, you know, another swivel, a couple little pieces of lead. But I got a pe couple pieces of gold in here, but they look like they're covered with mercury to me. So let me show you. Okay, right in here, if you can see that, there's two pieces there. There's a whole bunch of real fine stuff. but. And yeah, they sure look like gold to me, but uh, they are not gold colored. Well, there's one way to find out if this has got mercury on it. I'm going to go ahead and suck all this up in a snuffer bottle. And when I get home, if all my gold's ugly, then that means that was mercury. Okay, let's get her cleaned up. And I got it, two more signals right down here. So we'll, we'll dig them out and... I don't know how much longer we're going to be here because the weather's starting to look pretty ugly. Okay, well, we just finished another, another pan out of that spot, and uh, we've got another nice little pan of gold. Little pieces, but we're, yeah, we're picking sure up more. how well that's showing it because my sunlight is going in and out and in and out, but all through here, there's a whole bunch of little tiny pieces. Okay, well, I'm gonna suck this up. And then I got one, two more targets right here. Well, I've lost track of what pan I'm on, 
but this pan, we are making money. Two pennies. I just panned out two pennies. But I got some nice gold in this pan and quite possibly our biggest piece yet. Let me show you. See, well, the pennies aren't old. But let me zoom in here on the gold. We got a nice little piece there, and I have no idea what that silver thing is, but it is shiny. So uh, I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna hit that spot again. We just finished another pan and we're finding more gold. The gold's not as heavy, but there's more of it. So let me show you this and then I'll explain to uh, what I've been doing here. Now you can see, at least I hope you can see right there, that we got quite a bit more fine gold. You know, not as chunky as the stuff we've been finding. Okay, now, let me explain some of the, the stuff I've, I've discovered. Now, I don't know if this is unique to this spot or, or not, but it seems like any time I get where the lead is, where we're finding lead, I find the larger pieces of gold, which makes sense. Now I'm discovering that when I get into areas that have a layer of cobbles, no sand, just the cobbles, and I got to dig down through, you know, four to six inches of, of gravel, you know, the size of my fist, before I get to the sand, I seem to be finding more gold in that area. Not as large, but more of it. So, or not more of it, but more pieces. So I'm thinking the gravel area is in a spot where the, the water washes that area and will wash in sand and then wash out sand, wash in sand, and it allows the gold to accumulate there. The other spots where the lead is, it's pretty much on the surface. And I'm thinking it's just that the water's moving and that's just a spot where the, the velocity is diminished enough to allow the lead to drop, which allows the heavier gold to drop there, but not that real fine gold. And I've got one more spot left to do that I got a target on, and we'll see see how that pans out. Now that is a shallow area. The, the sand is right under the first layer of rock. So you only go down you know, this far and uh, we hit sand. So, and that's a lead target. So we'll test out this theory. Well, we just finished that pan and our target was lead. A little hunk of lead here. And we have that larger gold again. Let me show you. Okay, I'm not sure how well it's showing it, but you can see right through there. We got all kinds of pieces of gold in there, but one, uh, well for here, large piece. Well, with this pan being a pretty good pan, I think I like ending on a good note. So I think I'm gonna call this the last pan of the day. I'm gonna get this cleaned up because there's a big bank of black clouds there. I mean, they're as dark as inside of a cow and they're heading right at me. And I think in about 10 minutes, it's gonna be raining pretty hard right here. And I don't wanna be here when that happens. So. I'm gonna pack everything up and I'll see you back at the house. Well, I made it back just in the nick of time. Well, if you look at my sleeve here, we're getting a combination of rain and flush and hail. One wild ride home. Uh, I love those close calls when they when they miss. Um, 
According to my truck, it was 38 degrees when we left, and uh, I'm not sure if that was snow or hail or what it was. All I know, it was cold and wet, and it was coming down pretty good. Got our, uh, oh, what do you say we call them, treasures. They're all cleaned up, ready to take a look at. And those pennies, well, one was 1973, and one was 1972. So, not very old. Okay, let's check this stuff out. Okay, well you can see here, we got quite a bit of junk here. We got a lot of lead, fishing stuff, a pair of fingernail clippers that have seen a better day. And here's our two pennies. Um, I don't know if we'd be able to focus on that or not. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see if that's a 73 or the 72. But anyway, a lot of junk. Okay, let's take a look at the gold. Okay, we got our black sand here all dried out. We got our two screens, our 30 mesh and our 50 mesh. Put 30 mesh on top. All that in there. Oh, we got some gold in there. Okay. Dump that in that pan. That'll go through and... Uh... Oh, we got some gold in that one too. Okay. Now, I don't know how well you can see this. Let me see if I can get that in a little closer. But this is the material that went through the 50 mesh. And if you look, there's pieces of gold all throughout this. Yeah, it's not a lot of weight. A lot of pieces, though. Okay, now we're going to take dump our black sand back into here that aside and we'll put what didn't go through the 50 mesh into here. There's quite a bit of gold in there. Let's get a close up on that. That's uh, a lot of fine gold right there. Now let's take a look at the stuff that didn't go through the 30 mesh. That's not too shabby right there. Okay, I'm going to do like I did last time. I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to pick all this lead out of here. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. That was, there was a lot of little pieces of lead in there. Well, I got that all cleaned up. And uh, what do you say we uh, throw it up on scale and uh, see what we got? Okay, let's see how we did. Looks like 0 0.16. 0 0.16 grams. Boy, you're not gonna hear any complaints from me considering this was a, a pretty short day. And uh, last time out, it took us two days to get 0.14 grams. So we've proven one thing, the working with the metal detector definitely improved our take. Um, you know, finding the lead, that's a secret to that area of the river. I don't know if it's just that one area. I guess, you know, if this weather continues, I'm going to have to uh, travel up and down the river, see if that's true all the way along. But when we were just randomly scratching the gravel and, and digging stuff up and panning it, we were finding gold, but, but real, real fine. I mean, you couldn't hardly see it. But when we found the lead, that's where we started picking up our, our for down there, our large pieces of gold. Now, the one thing that uh, really kind of impressed me down here on the river is I've never really given this river a whole lot of thought because, you know, like I said earlier, this was worked with, with the big bucket dredges. And, you know, they, they classified everything. They ran it over mercury plates. 
I mean, they, you know, when it went into dredge, they got the gold. But the amount of gold we're finding, considering the fact that this has already been worked, and you look at the small amount of gravel I've, I've moved, I really would like to know truly how much gold those old buck, bucket dredges took out. They must have took out a lot of gold out of there. Okay, well, hopefully the weather's going to ease up and uh, we'll get to head up into the hills. Um, doesn't look too good because the uh, extended forecast called for for rain this whole coming week and uh, another another big storm coming in Thursday Friday. And if it's a warm storm, we can get up in the hills. But if it's uh, like these have been coming, when it snows down to 2,000 feet, I can't get into where the gold is. So we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, that way you'll get notifications when I get around to posting videos. And uh, one thing I want to make a mention of is the comments you guys leave me. I love reading the comments. And this trip was based off of the comment, comment that Alan Knight left. I'd have never thought of it. And so I read them all. I, you know, there's getting too many where I can't answer them all, but I read every one of them. So, you know, I really appreciate the feedback from the community. That's what makes this so much fun. Okay, well, now, if you got any questions on the gear I use or metal detectors or anything, I try to list that stuff in the description below. I grant you I'm not real good at doing it each time, but I try. So, I'm going to go make some dinner because I'm starving. So, I'm going to say you guys have a wonderful day. Oh. And uh, if anybody sees Jeff, you might let them know I'm ahead again. <laughs>